So, Mood Swatch Club. Today, we're gonna get into it. So, I've already filmed me going through the swatches up close, um, but first, I wanna talk to you about it a little bit, because there are some things, there's some good things and there's some bad things. So, the good side of it is that you get a lot of swatches right here. There's 25 um, per month, and it's a wide variety of types of fabric. There are some things that I've not heard of. I've gotten February's and March's now, so that's two months worth. I'm going to show you February's on the video. Um, I got March's after I filmed it. Um, but there's, like I said, there's a huge variety in here. Um, and some new things. Some, I think in Mar March had some things where I've never even, I've never seen anything like it before. So this could be a good thing if you want to discover new fabrics or if you want um, some higher end things, if you are, um, I don't know, into just learning it could be cool um, and mood has pretty high quality and their service is really good um, and so you get 10% off they give you a little um, code in here to get your 10% off but that's really the only discount you get so wide variety is good high quality good the only downside to this is the price so this is this is 20 bucks a month. Um, they have a few different options. Like you can do it. You can just buy one month. You can, I, I believe. I'll have to double check on it. If I'm wrong, I'll write it down below. So you, I know you can get three months worth. So you don't have to do the whole year. I did the year um, because I like to just jump into things and try them. Um, so, but I get I get three sets of three companies worth of swatches. I get the Mood ones now, I get Fabric Mart, of course, and I get Vogue Fabrics, which I don't think I've talked about that before. Um, Inside the Hem did a good video on Vogue, Vogue Swatch catalog thing that they do. And they're each a little different, and I would say the pricing ranges from the low side with the most discounts and the cheapest fabrics still good quality are Fabric Mart and then Vogue is in kind of in the middle and then Mood is on the high end. So um, I want to say the price of these ranges from $8 to almost, I think there's a 40, something in here costs 40 bucks. I can't remember which one it was, but when I show you the swatches, I'll show you the information for each fabric on there and it'll tell you the price. So I saw a lot of $35 a yard fabrics. Um, now, your budget is personal, um, clearly, and I know nobody likes to talk about the money side of this, but we all have different budgets. Some people have a higher budget, some people have a lower budget. None of that is anyone's business but your own. So, you spend what you're comfortable spending. And unless I'm specifically like Fallen in love, I know exactly what I'll use it for. A lot of these are out of my comfortable price range. Um, and there's nothing wrong with that. There doesn't make me less beautiful. It doesn't make me any less happy to have the option and to see it and feel it, especially if I'm going to spend some money on it. Um, so I would say this. This is an expensive subscription, I, in my opinion. The fabrics in the subscription can be a little bit on the pricier side, in my opinion. And aside from the 10% off at checkout with the code that they give you, you're really not getting any bigger discounts like you would with um, Fabric Mart. Uh, so this is good for exploration. This is good if you like to be wowed by different types of fabric. Um, but if you're on a budget, I don't know if I'd do this one. I'd go with Fabric Mart. Um, but it's up to you because it's your business and not mine. So, 
yeah, but I like it. Um, and there's cool stuff in here. And I will say having just recently opened Marches, March was even more, uh, interesting. And yeah, so those are the highs and lows. Um, I don't, I didn't purchase anything from Mood in February. I'm considering a few things from March, um, but I'm not sure. So, and then the other thing about Mood too is like if you, if you like the idea of this, and these are huge swatches, this is like a hand, my hand size swatch. So you get a, you can get a good feel for it. But if you are on Mood's website and you just want one you saw something you're interested in and you just only want that swatch you can order them for a, like like two three four dollars i think um i think there's a there they base the price of their swatch on um the cost of the fabric per yard and if you make an order from mood for something else um based on how much you spend you can get a certain amount of free swatches in your cart so that is also an option if you don't want to do the club but you are interested in a fabric or two just buy the swatch from them it's worth it i've done it before like i i have wanted some things before but i thought ah, oh, let me just get a swatch they showed up and it wasn't what i was looking for so i was happy that i spent the couple bucks on the swatch instead of just you know blindly ordering you know four yards of something that's a little bit more expensive than i normally buy and being disappointed when i get it so that's that so I guess that wasn't really a review. That was just things. My review, I dig it, but um, this is within my budget. So if it's not, then don't do it because there's better ways to go about getting swatches. So yeah, that's my review. I like it personally. God, that's what every review is, is whether you, okay. All right, yeah, it is what it is watch the rest of the video if you want to see the swatches okay that's it oh do you guys want to say hi to dinah meowza let me get her you gotta come say hi you gotta come say hi She sounds like she's not happy, but she's sure sitting on my lap right now like she is happy. Meow, meow, meow. Yep. Okay, on to the swatches. Okay, here we go. This is the Swatch Club. This is what I got for February. Um, I should be getting March here soon, but... So you open up this little booklet. It has a coupon code. This one's already expired, so... Um, but that's your little perk is 10% off. Um, this is the list of the swatches you get. Now I put the little check marks and circles on there. Um, I, when, when you get them, they're not necessarily all in order. So I went through and put them all in order. Um, and then this opens out at the back and then on the inside they have, um, you know, some pictures of, you know, what you could do with some of the stuff and some of the other colors that you can get so just kind of like featured content and then this is the back so we'll go through these one by one the first one there are 25 swatches by the way the first one is navy geometric velvet lace and that is right here so it's not stretch or it is stretchy and then each swatch comes with this little information piece on it now i know i talked to you earlier about it but this is 30 bucks a yard 100 percent polyester so a little bit out of my price range next one is Two by two super rib tubular knit, fourteen dollars a yard, ninety-five percent cotton, five percent spandex. 
It's not, I'm sorry that there's my, some linty, potentially. I don't think it's cat hair. I think it's from this. There's a fur sample in there. So, but these are good size swatches. It's nice enough. And then the next one is Dorado Metallic Performance Spandex. Let's see if we can get it to focus. $18 a yard, 80% nylon, 20% spandex. Me Honor Gold Stretch Velvet. Velvet. Oh, let's do that again. Honor Gold Stretch Velvet. $18 a yard, 90% polyester, 10% spandex. We have cream striped faux fur. This stuff actually feels pretty nice and it's got like a, a pattern to it like this is short and long again. It's pretty soft. I actually I'm not super into faux fur but if I was this would be kind of a really interesting one. 35 bucks a yard. This is called Cream Stripe Faux Fur. That's it. Um, yeah, not bad. Pretty cool. And we have Black and Beige Floral Two-Tone Lace. This stuff is beautiful. $25 a yard. There's all your info. I'm just gonna hold it up to you. If you guys want any of this stuff, the product number is right. Let's see, is it on it? Three two zero nine two four. Yeah, I think the product. Yeah. So this is the product number right here. So if you guys want to purchase any of this stuff, it's right there. They're not paying me to say any of that. Uh, I'm paying them to have these swatches. I wish they would pay me, but they don't. So, next up, natural hemp and organ organic cotton canvas. Sorry guys, I can't read today. So, kind of feels like a burlap sack. Uh, I'm, not, I'm not super into it, but to each his own. There's your product info. Hemp, I don't think I've ever felt any hemp fabric I think this stuff gets softer as you wash it, if I'm not mistaken, but I don't know. We'll see. Well, I won't see. You might see if you order it. Sorry guys, I'm all over the place. This is what happens when you just wake up and try and do stuff. Wine wash, copper, rayon, twill. This stuff I almost got some. Almost got some. This is really cool. Washed copper and rayon twill. It's really soft, really soft. It feels almost like peach skin. It's really nice. It's okay, it's kind of got like that bouncy kind of drape, kind of like how a linen would feel, but I like it. Like I said, I almost got some. I just, I don't know how into this color I am and it's a little bit out of my price range for an impulse buy, you know? Like uh, for 16 bucks a yard, I wanna know exactly what I'm gonna do with it. Next up, Fuchsia Solid Stretch Neoprene. This I was kinda into. I'll, I've never tried like the neoprene before. Come on. You can see how fat it is right here. I think it says 1.5 millimeter thick. There's your info. Feels nice. Next up, black and red textural floral brocade. This stuff is pretty cool. I don't know, it's pretty formal for me, but it might make a really cool like evening gown or or even like a cool like suit jacket maybe? That would be kind of interesting. You know, I could totally see like uh, 
who uh, who does those men's patterns? Mimi G's dude. Um, he makes the men's like sewing patterns for simplicity. I think I could totally see like a going out jacket in this for men. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm crazy. I don't know. Floral bro brocade. Next up, metallic hyacinth violet all over foil knit. Real thin. This stuff is really thin. Stretchy, nice drape. Black on the back. That's kind of interesting. Come on. Here we go. It's soft. Feels nice. Fuchsia baby sequins on mesh. I love sparkles. This is pretty cool. I dig it. They're little tiny guys. Ooh, maybe don't. Maybe I shouldn't have stretched it. It doesn't really stretch at all. Pretty cool though. That would make a cool top or dress or whatever. Make a cool pair of pants for that matter. Although I think you could probably you'd have to line it. Well, I guess you'd have to line anything you made out of it because it'd be it's not too scratchy, but I wouldn't want it touching me real close. Next up, accordion rhododendron accordion pleated chiffon. Uh, I've actually bought pleated chiffon from Mood before and I was happy with it. Um, it basically, I bought different color. I, bought, I think I have like a cream and a black that I have yet to use, but this is basically the same stuff. Except I think I bought it on sale. I can't remember. It was a long time ago. But that's not too bad. Yeah. I haven't... And I can't speak to how well it sews because I haven't used the stuff I already have yet, but who knows? Give it a try. Neon pink paillette sequins. Look at these. I'm telling you, they came straight from my heart with this nonsense. Look at this. I don't even know what... I mean, I could think of some things. Man, how cool would it be to do that jacket that I keep going on about in these things? That would be a, that would be a sight to see. I think you know what? I think someone needs to make a jacket out of this stuff. Pretty cool. There we go. Look at that. That's pretty badass. I like it. Um hot pink cotton knit. Look at that. PK I think that's what you call it. Looks like the stuff you'd make a men's golf shirt out of, or women's for that matter. It's not real, it's not super stretchy. Feels nice though. Be real breathable. Next up, white geometric lace with a finished eyelash edge. Um, I don't have the eyelash portion to show you, but this is actually really pretty. I can totally see this for summer stuff. Oh, they're like little hearts and flowers. It's really soft. It's really soft and it's real drapey. Look at that. Pretty cool. Next up, white and ivory vinyl snakeskin. This that's a, there's a sequin stuck to it. Um, this stuff's pretty cool. I mean, I could see a cool moto jacket out of this or something. It's really thick though, like super thick. Let's see if it'll... Yeah. It's really stiff and structured. The back of it is kind of like, uh... I don't know. It, it looks like it's got like a knit back, but um, it's pretty thin. I mean, you can kind of. It's not. It's not real smooth. For 18 bucks, that's not bad for mood. Anyway, it's pretty cool. Lots of texture. Like all these spots have different textures on it. 
Next up, charcoal square nylon ripstop. Pretty utilitarian. It's like super plasticky though. Like I've seen ripstop that feels more like a nylon, like it has, it feels more nylon like a parachute, but this one has like a definitely like some sort of waterproofing. At least that's what it feels like. The back of it feels more like I was expecting. The front has like a rubbery plasticky feel, but it's real thin. You can, you can see, you can see through it. Well, maybe that's not a good example. Yeah, you can see through it. Anyways, here's your info. Eight bucks a yard. I think that's the cheapest one in here. Let's see. Gray and black abstract baby sequin mesh. This was pretty. It's kind of like a like a gunmetal kind of color. I don't know why the reflection looks like it's green. But it's pretty. Got a little pattern on it. Not bad. Hmm. Mood exclusive Apollo's Disguise Burgundy Stretch Cotton Sateen. I'm not getting much burgundy. I think it's because I got the middle of the galaxy right here, but there's some dragons on this. Ooh, they got, these dragons have little stars on them. Yeah. And then let's see. Yeah, it's got a little bit of stretch to it. Not very much at all. Not very much. And then the back is just plain white. So, there we go. Yeah, 3% elastane. That's not too much stretch. But not bad. 16 bucks. Not exactly my style, but not bad. And then also the mood exclusive Persephone's Bouquet Black Stretch Cotton Sateen. This is a little more up my alley, but still not really my thing. But it's more my thing than the other stuff. Looks like a bunch of flowers. It looks like what I actually kind of, well, now I kind of like it. But it's the same stuff like a stretch sateen without, it's not too stretchy. Here we go. Next, forest and moss, heather, ooh, sorry, earthquake. Forest, forest and moss, moss, that is so difficult to say. Forest and moss, heather Sherpa fleece. You try saying that. I don't want any judgment here. That's difficult. Look at all this faux fur is stuck to it. That's the thing with fleece, isn't it, is everything sticks to it. Anyways, that's the back side. This is the front side. Nice olive green. It looks kind of like military-ish. So if you're going for like a military-inspired look, man, that'd be nice. And I bet, I bet this would make a really good removable lining. It reminds me of the removable linings that are in some of my uniform jackets. This feels like what they're made out of. And I can attest to the fact that they are pretty warm. So might be interesting to give that a try. And it's soft, like it's soft and it's squishy. It's real thick too. Look at that, it's thicker than a scuba. Next, turquoise and lime striated performance jersey. This stuff is pretty cool. I like stuff like this. Plus I've never met a neon that I didn't fall in love with. So, and this definitely qualifies. So it's performance knit. So it's definitely got the stretch in all directions. Good recovery, um, love the colors. And here you go. 16 bucks? That's not bad. Not bad at all. Hmm. Pretty cool. So, um, black ponty knit with a multicolor floral design. Look at that shine on that. So, this part's matte, this part's foil. Pretty cool. It doesn't have a lot of stretch. And it seems like this is the type of stretch where if you stretched it too hard, you'd break the design. I don't want to push it too hard. Black on the back. Come on. 16 bucks a yard? That's not too terrible. It's thick too. Not as thick as the other stuff, but, but it's got, yeah. I don't know what you would do with that. What would you do with that? Pants? 
No. Maybe? I don't know. And finally, red diamond quilted coating with filler. So it comes with the batting already there. See, that's the back of it, and that's the front of it. And it's that uh, nylon, I believe. No polyester. Yeah, but this is all right. I can totally see a lining. Maybe, oh, they're saying it's you make the coat out of it. I would say maybe line the coat with it. I don't know. You do what you want. There's your info. For 16 bucks a yard, that's not too bad for something you can make a coat out of. Hmm. Anyways, those were the swatches.